second heat. And we're going from lanes three through to seven here. Pruitt from the United States has recorded the fastest, the 22-year-old, of any of these athletes. Fifth in the 200 in London. There he is. Didn't make the final in the 100 four years ago. He's also competing in the 100 metres in this classification later on at the championships. Then uh, Rollings from Great Britain. The 20 year old, not in personal best form to date. He's also competing in the 100 and finished fourth at the World Championships in this 12 months ago. So, a field of five. First three go through, then the next two fastest. We've got Middick from Switzerland, Smeek from Canada, Rawlings from Great Britain, Pruitt from the USA, and El Hamadi from the United Arab Emirates. And a staggered start with the initial lead in the hands of Smeek. And he's going to cross over in front of Mittick, directly behind him. And then from out deeper, Pruitt and Rawlings cross over. And now Pruitt's going to take it up. So off the back, it's Pruitt in front. And they race into single file as they come into the home straight on the first occasion. With a Paralympic record already set in the first heat. So showing the way. Out in front is Pruitt. He leads El Hamadi in second place. Smeek in third. And then directly behind him is Rawlings and just slightly detached at the moment at the tail of the field is the athlete in last place but now just catches up again so with 250 meters to go it is Pruitt the leader but look at El Hamadi getting up on the inside coming through at this stage it's going to be a struggle for Rawlings for Great Britain still last of the five as El Hamadi kicks away, comes round the turn. It's El Hamadi racing clear, and this is uh, making a real statement here in the final stages. Now Pruitt's in second, back in the field. I don't think Rollings can get there. No, he won't. And in third place, it'll be Mittick, but a big win to El Hamadi from Pruitt, Mittick, and then behind them, Smeek and Rollings, 144.97, and they've broken the Paralympic record again. So this is going to be some sort of a final. That's absolutely fantastic. They've actually taken just about a second and a third off it from what we saw from Katila earlier. Al Hamadi, it's a statement. And you know what? He was freewheeling down the closing straight as well, wasn't he? Man who won gold in the two and the four at the World Championships in 2011. Silver in the eight behind Katila 2013. It's going to be a good battle between these two. Al Hamadi did very well at the Asia Oceania Championships earlier this year in Dubai as well. But look at that gap. And then all of a sudden, OK, that's it. That'll do. Two wheels in the closing, what, 80 metres? Could have actually threatened the world record there, maybe. That's an astonishing way for him to finish off. Paralympic record 144 96. Thank you very much. So he looks behind and it was daylight. 40 degree day hut daylight, which it has reached here on the track. There's a little scoreboard right at the 50 meter mark that indicates how hot it is trackside. It's not going to be that easy in the final. What a trio, Mohammed El Hamadi. Reed McCracken and Walid Katila. That's mouth-watering stuff. And ben Rowling's eliminated there, by the way, who won three European medals earlier in the summer. Well, 
going to use that big podium because we've got the uh, relay victory ceremony on the way. I thought there was plenty of noise in the stadium for some reason. So we could 